Chilling Nut. Good chilling. Hey! What's up, Nut Gun? Yes, you know. So, Justin just got home. We have been working on getting the bus ready to go on the inside. We got dressed all fancy because it's a very special day. And meanwhile, Pops ate half a sandwich and is working onto the bus. Yeah. You guys, she's locked down. All the stuff in there. Fridge is ratchet strapped. All this stuff is good to go, man. Ready to hit the road. We survived the maiden voyage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning just briefly. First off, we decided together that we were going to go live at five. Sorry guys, never been live on Instagram before and there's a lot of buttons. How do we... Hmm. Very sweaty. But here we are. Um, I was just looking for this list that we are working on. Finish it. Oh, it's already five. I'm, I'm trying to be live and hold a baby and work on this list all at the same time. <laughs> and look what she did to our list. She pretty much ate it. So we went live on Thursday on Instagram and we weren't really ready to hit the road. By the way, thank you everyone for joining us. It was wild. Yeah, it was it kind was of crazy. We just... were rushing a bit. We were overwhelmed. There was a lot of different emotions and feelings yeah. and like stress and like making sure everything was ready. And we were hoping to be ready at five, but we weren't. So there was just so much going on. Thanks for joining us, guys. By the way, I've been so busy running around. It's good to see all your faces. What's up? <laughs> it's intense, but yeah. thank you for coming along. Sorry, poor connection and things. And that nature, yeah, I'm but, really uh, sorry about that. Man, but that was, and it was actually kind we of. We kind of left you on a cliffhanger yeah, 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 because yeah, yeah. we were like, okay, the bus got stuck. We had to be serious and uh, concentrate on that. Yeah. So that was a rough start. Looking back on it, it's hilarious, though. Yeah, it was kind of hilarious. What a way to start. The front tire is just getting deeper and deeper. Um, so. Wish us luck, cross your fingers, and pray that we can actually deport. Anywhere right down, the tire is just so deep. So we had hoped it would be way more epic. Dun, we got stuck dun, in a dun. hole. Honestly, it just proves to you, like, we signed up to do this schooly life, and it's so epic, but there was never the expectation that it wasn't going to be difficult, and the build was difficult. And now, like, just the first trip is difficult. Like, every step of this journey is going to be difficult, but, like, was it worth it? 100% worth it. Yeah. I mean, without a doubt. I mean, yeah, so we had good. some hiccups along the way, but we had expected that. And It's just cool that we get to document it and just remember how ridiculous that departure was. So back to going through everything that happened. I mean, <laughs> you know, we got stuck in a hole. Yeah. Uh, we got pulled out by Big Yellow here on the farm. Third time was a charm. Yes. We broke the rope three times. And gun it, babe, gun it. Ah. The we two bricks basically got stuck uh, at like a 45 degree angle going opposite directions forcing the tire to not even be able to budge as if it had chucks underneath it. How do I look? Beautiful. Can you hold it? Make sure this is... Wow, that was quite a ride. Maiden voyage is officially begun. Continued <laughs> from our last like saga. over one hour later than we had intended. Which I'm not surprised, but I kind of am surprised. I was like, man, it's pretty dry out here. But no, most importantly, we got that sucker out now. Hopefully we can get out the rest of the 10 feet we have in the driveway and we can get on the road here. <laughs> um, yeah. So, to Shikori. To Shikori. You did a great job driving that thing. Thanks, babe. I know. 
I always see a little brown little man. I honestly, I just want to take a second to look at this lot and just it's soak horrific all this in. without the bus though. It is though. But anyway, <laughs> with that, I do want to get on the road. So I, know, I love you guys, it, and man. now's our time. We gotta let you go. Bye. We got on the road. Guys, we did it. We're on the road. Smooth trip, you know. Yeah. I mean, you know, this thing drives like a Cadillac. Really smooth. You know, it's great. And so we got to the fest. And celebratory beer. I can't believe we have our home here. <sighs> At Shikori. We set up. We had a blast. We Welcome to Justin's corner. <laughs> <laughs> Where Justin talks about random things. How he feels. How he feels. <laughs> I was telling GB earlier that this is exactly where I wanted to be the whole time. In this life where you just kind of travel and you're free and you don't have to worry about the commitments that you have back at home or waking up and going to work at 5.30 in the morning. You just kind of ramble and you go and see music and you come back home and you see your family and you know that you're going to wake up and do what you want to do. Um, that is something that is just so beautiful to me. And this weekend is just a little slice of what we've been working so hard for for a year. And I'm just looking at this window, watching the sun as it goes down, just taking it all in. Check it out. Listening to the music in the background, sipping on a beer, watching little Azalea as she like smiles at us. Like this is like just what we've been working so hard for and it feels so good to finally be here. It's amazing. We've accomplished it. How do you feel, babe? What about you, Azalea? You guys have been along with us for quite a ride. Now is when the fun stuff actually starts. And this is when the ride actually begins. And the adventures that are ahead of us are going to be absolutely unreal. Just you wait. feel babe um freaky awesome it smells like freedom uh, yeah i mean okay so the beginning of our maiden voyage was quite traumatic but we made it here in one whole piece you know she was a trooper through all that too last night we had a good time went out and checked out one of the bands got some pizza had some drinks saw some old friends and uh that was a lot of fun she's wearing her festy gear da -da -da. Oh, ah. wait. oh sorry check it out we all have bells she has her bells, and we have our bells. That way we don't lose each other. Ready? Yes. Well, actually, let's really quickly say, surprisingly, not anything moved that much, right? <laughs> A couple of things fell. We took some books down from the bookshelf. Some of Juby's burning whatever mystical stuff fell on my head. How are you doing today? She looks tired. <laughs> are you what is that face? Yeah. What's up, sexy? How are you doing, good looking? What do you think, Azalea? I've never seen a horse before. <laughs> Don't eat my hand, please. Are you guys hungry? Oh, buddy. As am I. What you say, Bug Bug? <gasps> you look so beautiful in the light, babe. It's been hot today, but we're chilling here in the bus. And we've been out and about. We did some kids stuff. And Justin went to a sustainability talk. And we are having a dog and stormy. Chilling. Now enjoying. It's not much now. Yes, sir. It doesn't look like <laughs> yeah. It's a circle, man. The circle is everything in a drawer. You have to stay hydrated. If you couldn't tell, we were super hot and dehydrated. We're about to go back out, and we just had, we hosted a few friends here. Um, just do a little tour of the bus and just kind of talk about traveling full time. Hey, Babs. How was your night? Great. Better after you found the 123. <laughs> How was your night, Azalea? 
We had a super crazy, freaky, awesome night. Well, Azalea was tired, so we came back and we were chilling and Justin was gonna go out and listen to some more music. And I realized that I had lost my parasol, that was my wedding parasol, and her hat. So we went back out after Justin had already gone out and I found everything, thank goodness. But that's just like how it goes. If you wanna find stuff, you'll find stuff, but you have to be open to losing it and accepting that you might lose it. And that was really hard last night because those were two really special things that I was really upset about. But anyways, overall, we had a really good day. Sorry, babe. Do you sleep again? The concept is so strange, having our entire house with us. I keep thinking we forgot to bring something, but everything is here, like everything. You want to try it? <laughs> Ooh, that face. everything yo what's going in there so we're putting in some oranges and some delicious apples look at look at that juice just come right off the orange it's absolutely absurd amazing <laughs> this is going to be going into our sangria that we're going to be making today <laughs> what you want to do is you want to cut up your fruit into nice little chunks i like to keep them in the chunks that are bite size these bite sized chunks that you like to just you know pop in your mouth whenever you're having a drink and we're gonna let that soak for the day and then tonight we're gonna have the most delicious sangria quick easy simple Boom, there you go. So What's this it? wine is some of our favorite wine. This is the one we always choose whenever we come to festivals because it's easy to drink, it's sweet. Hold on, let me just show you guys what we look like right now. This is the film crew. The beauty with sangria is there's all this flexibility in it and what fruits you can put just in there. Put a fruit salad in it, just yeah. maybe not a banana. Yeah, just no bananas. I actually That's... don't like banana in my fruit salad anyway, so it works yeah. out in my favorite. We got nothing against bananas. I love bananas, but that would be weird. You are a monkey by Paul's yeah. life. I know, that's right. This is how we do this Cats reached out to us and uh, came and joined us on our trip to Shakori. We've been having a blast and we've got to tour their RV and they've been giving us all the tips and tricks of the road. You guys have been traveling how long? Like five years now? Yeah, we've been full time for four years this October. So this past year we did a trek around the country. This summer we'll go up to Vermont. We're kind of getting ready to pack up and hit the road, call it a day, and hopefully we don't get stuck in the mud. You guys so, checking out more music? Maybe. Uh, We're going to go for a stroll. We'll see. The end. <laughs> the the end. End. <laughs> so that beeping sound is basically the bus building up pressure for the air brakes. That's it, simple as that. We're not at home, and we're not at the festival. We're in somebody's yard, um, and the engine was overheating. Hope that we can get home. Man, our first journey, our maiden voyage has been quite a voyage, has it not? I guess no road is a smooth road. There will always be bumps in the road. Da, da, da. Man, well, we had a blast. We had a lot of fun. That was the most the important time. thing. And we made it to the festival, no issues. And, uh, you know, we always knew that this issue, something was gonna happen. And uh, we just hope that we can get this thing cooled down. I haven't taught myself about the engine yet, which is obviously gonna go to the top of the list. It needs to be done now too, so that I can work on it when we need to. But we went up and talked to these guys that we, uh, the homeowner that we parked in their gravel driveway and just let them know that we're gonna be here for a bit to let the engine cool off. 
and uh, yes. So we moved the bus out of the driveway of Do Man's house. He didn't seem too uh, pleased with us parked there, but wasn't like telling us to get out of the way or anything. We don't want to have to pay for a tow. We're like 20 minutes away from the house, and we what are we gonna do? We're gonna chill, man. We're boondocking, babe. Does that count? Does this count as boondocking? We're literally on the side of the road by the stop sign. Um, hobbled at home. Here we are, we're back on the road, crossing an epic bridge. Check it out. Pit stop number two. Uh, we're at this uh, fire station out in the sticks, station house four. Totally do not suggest driving a bus if it's having issues with overheating. It could potentially do a lot more damage. So this we're well aware of. Since we're so close to home, we just decided to drive a little ways, pull off. We're gonna try our best just to get it home. Hopefully we can get home and just kind of get organized again and then we can figure out a game plan of how we're gonna get this fixed. What's up, babe? Guess what day it is? Sunday. Uh, Family time in the bus. Right there, man. I, know. I know that these things are gonna happen and for some reason I was dealing with a lot of anxiety. But now, knowing that I think we're gonna be able to get home makes me feel a lot better. So, I'm starting to like chill out a little bit. So now we're back home and we've got a laundry list of things we've created in our minds of what we have to do now. Yeah, our windshield wiper fell off. Oh, and did we mention that we drove here the whole way with no license plate? So we're gonna put that back on. Like your toe straps and get these leveling baser things you drive on. We have to yeah. create a, like a checklist for every time we yeah. leave. We have make to check sure all of around these the bus things. And yeah. make sure everything is attached and closed and not hanging down. And Put bolts on your windshield wipers. And I'm about to dive into <laughs> yeah. a engine, engine manual engine and just so. really learn how to break this thing down. How do you think we did? Men, high five. Give me some. We did it. Then that's <laughs> how do you think? We did good. Man, I'm proud of you driving this thing. Was it yeah. scary? Um, it was a little nervous, but once you settle into it, you yeah. Know, yeah. Well, we need to get you a better captain's chair. I need a chair. captain's chair, but with that said, with on like top of that too, can I just call out how well Azalea did this weekend? She year? did great. This she was, was her dream. first ever festival and she slept in the evenings. We went out with her, I baby wore her. Yeah, she did so great. good. We've got our little taste of our I adventures of our lives to come. Man. I know it was. Well, it was a good one. No, yeah. Um, and so now we're back. We, get, we jump back into regular life. Um, and we continue working and building and creating and getting us closer and closer to our epic adventures. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, man. Just, yeah. <laughs> we did it. So with that, guys, Thanks thank you. Thanks for joining us thank you on for that, along. Uh, yeah, on our first maiden voyage. Oh, man, this is a wild ride and it only gets wilder from here. I know. So, um, Bumpy roads. With that, smash the thumbs up, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. Send us a comment down below. Um, and uh, yeah, just sending you guys big love. And uh, look forward to bringing you along for the next ride. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Trucking, and you gotta keep pushing. <laughs> you missed my inspirational right, no, moment, I but. Heard what you got it. We're gonna